as researchers use Google Scholar as our main tool where we are searching papers or where we are downloading papers or looking for references. Now, Google Scholar has been a very, very wonderful tool for uh, researchers as a helpful guide, as a helpful resource. Now, uh, most of the times, Google Scholar is also criticized on having an excessive uh, resource in terms of research and uh, literature sources without having an indication of the quality of those resources. Now, uh, like I said, the, the biggest criticism on Google Scholar is that it picks up everything, whether it's thesis, whether it's uh, open source, whether it's closed source, whether it's subscription model articles, whether it's conference papers, books, whatever you name it, right? So it has all this white coverage. Now, what if I tell you that there's a tool where this tool can simply integrate into Google Scholar, and then it can help you find out the quality of the resources that you are using. Now, we also know that there are different types of um, rankings that we are looking into whenever we are deciding to pick up a particular journal uh, such as abs ranking or abdc ranking or ft50 or utd24 or a bunch of other um, uh, rankings or a bunch of other lists that we are looking into uh, today i'll talk about one such tool that you can simply use it's a google chrome extension that you can install on your computer and when you go onto google scholar you all you need to do is hover onto the journal journal's name, and it will give you a lot of information about the journal, name of the journal, its rankings, um, its H index, its quality, and a bunch of other things. Um, stay tuned. Um, I will be showing you a live demo of how this tool is used and how you can use it uh, for yourself in order to bring out the best in Google search results. Um, so here is um, this tool. So you all you need to do is simply go to Google's Web Chrome Web Store, which I will show you in a moment. Um, and then here you need to find out this rapid journal quality check. I'll also put the link um, to this particular extension into the description of the video. You need to click on it. And once you get here, uh, you will click on add to Chrome. So once you add this to Chrome, um, it will install. All right, so let's give it a minute. Um, it is going to install. It will just ask you for all these different type of things. Now, of course, here um, you can simply select all the rankings that you want. Um, ABDC, since I am from business school, ABDC matters a lot. Um, ABS also is something for business schools association, chartered association of business schools. So you can use this. Now, BFI is for um, Danish ministry, CCF, core, all these, right? So FT50, SGR. So, I mean, again, it depends on whatever you want. Now, what we will do is um, I'll just suggest all of you to please read this this section, which says that for the first time when you use it, uh, you need to read this section very carefully. All right. So let's go and um, go to Google Scholar. And let's see when Google Scholar, we will simply search here. customer experience and now here are the searches right so what you see right now here is all these different color coded items right usually um, if you don't have this extension installed into your computer you won't be able to see these things uh, because obviously this extension is an additional tool now here let's say this first paper that comes from gentile and uh, at all european management of journal of course, usually you look at how many citations are there, and that is the only metric for you to judge the quality of the re the source um, normally in Google Scholar. But now you have a few of these things. So first of all, it shows you that it's in Q1, uh, which is great. And then this too also shows you the ranking for AJG. Um, this B is showing you the ranking for ABDC. And then um, in addition, you will see that on top here, um, it also shows us that FT50 is not applicable, meaning that this journal is not part of FT50. You can click on this plus and it will give you a few more rankings as well, right? So that, that is going to help you quite a bit. Similarly, here, this journal is pub uh, this article is published in Journal of Academy of Marketing Science, which is part of FT50, as you see. Um, in ABDC, it's A star. In AJG, it is four star. Um, it is not part of core and in SGR, which is part of Scopus, it's in quar uh, quarantile one. 
uh, which is Q1, right? So this is what it is. Now, the, another beauty of this thing is if I go to my own Google Scholar profile, which I click on Google Scholar profile, this is my own Google Scholar profile. And now what happens is that even for your own articles, you see all the stuff that is here. So for instance, this paper is published in Q1. Um, in AJG, it is three. Um, in ABDC, it's A and it's not part of 5050. So this is what it is, right? So you can change it however you want um, and then you will get all these results. Now, this was a short demo. Again, I'll put the link to this particular plugin or extension into the description of this video. Please make sure you install it. I think it is an amazing tool for researchers in order to sort out the quality of the journals or sources that we are using in our own literature review. Plus, it can also help us like researchers who are building up their profile. Many times when you're applying for grants or applying for jobs, uh, they ask you to uh, indicate which paper is published and what type, what type of journal, right? So this can easily show you your own papers are published in what types of journals and what are their rankings and all those type of things, right? So it's a glance very quick tool to use. Um, I hope that you can use it to your benefit. And if you are already using it, uh, please tell me in the comments, how is your experience so far with it? I'm pretty new with this. I didn't use it too much. I've just used it a little bit. And then I thought to share it with all of you. But if there's any other tools like this and you're using them, uh, please also share them in comments so that we can um, you know, share the knowledge with, with the viewers of this channel and other people who just by accident come to this uh, video. In the end, I would thank all of you to watch uh, for watching this video. I would also recommend you, if you like this type of videos, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends and with your colleagues and other students who may find it useful. Thank you so very much.